entering his 11th season at Montville High School as the head coach, the new look head coach, Tanner Grove. Coach, uh, thanks for coming by for a few minutes tonight. Thanks Busy time me. of year for you guys. It is. Thanks for having me here today, guys. Um, just got off the field, you know, looking forward to another uh, strong campaign in Montville in 2016. Good offseason, uh, numbers in the weight room, uh, the passing league, everything's leading up until September 9th, your, your Oprah against Griswold. Yeah, we uh, our, our weight room participation has always been a great strength for us. Um, passing league's always a little hit or miss with the uh, skill position guys, but, you know, we're pretty deep in the gym every day, so I think we're going to be tough up front. And the skill guys develop, we'll be, we'll be a pretty good ball club. Well, that's, that's a good segue because uh, – I know the passing league is always an interesting, uh, tough to gauge exactly what, you, what you're seeing out there. And you had uh, Nick Clemens and Tyler Droid Floyd, Floyd uh, running that for you this year. But last year, really, you got off, you were decimated early by losing your, your quarterback. This year, who's the starting quarterback? Do you know who it is? And if so, is that changed the dynamic of what the team looks like this year? Well, as of right now, we have two guys who are battling for the position, a uh, junior, Tommy Simone, and a senior in Austin Glidden. And they both bring a lot of intangibles to the table. They're both very athletic. They're both positional players who are trying to transition to quarterback. And if either one of them can really kind of take the job from the other guy, I think the, you know, the, the loser of that contest will, will fill a role for us as a utility guy. Uh, but I think you know, having a quarterback by our first scrimmage uh, next Monday night uh, will kind of give us a little bit better gauge of where we're going to be offensively. Yeah. Eight back on defense, seven back on offense, and, you know, with some seasoned veterans up front, but maybe a little green for your offensive line this year. Yeah, it's interesting. Our offensive line is going to consist of all seniors, but these are kids who sat behind the Kevin Murthas and Troy Sullivans and Brendan Rothholzes of the world who are three-year letter winners for us. And so they are going to be experienced um, because they've lined up against those guys every day. Um, but until that first Friday night light goes off, you know, you're not sure what you're going to get. But we're excited for them. Between now and the opener where you guys are uh, at Griswold, uh, which is always a, a great you know, early tests. They're yeah. they're always a well coached physical team. Yeah. Uh, uh, always very um, very disciplined and gutsy in how they play. So you know you're yeah. not going to get anything yeah. uh, given to you. What's the what's the message? What's the improvement you want to see moving forward before that first game? Well, we have we have two scrimmages here in the preseason um, that we're going to evaluate the kids and look at and look at the depth charts and find out who can play where. Um, because we know, you know, we have to be set by that Monday before we play Griswold. We have to have everything in place. Uh, the one thing we've harped on so far in preseason camp is making sure that we, we're going to play our best 11 players. And so what happens at a, a school like Montville, if that means the best 11 players play offense and defense and special teams, they're going to do that. So, you know, our, our, our athletes are very well conditioned right now. Um, but we're looking for some of that depth because that same token, if you have a kid start in two ways and he gets hurt, You've lost two positions one week instead of just the one. So. The biggest challenge um, for your, your staff this year and your team and maybe some of the expectations coming off of a 5-5 five and five season last year. It's, it's difficult. You know, we've had a pretty good tradition at Montville High School uh, with winning a lot of football games. And, you know, I think with that comes a little bit of burden on the kids. And, you know, one of the things the coaches have done a great job in preseason camp is getting the kids to embrace that burden. That, you know, you want people to – you know, go bananas and, and have a parade when they beat you because they haven't beat you in a decade. You know, you, you want that. But at the same time, you know, that's what drove you in the off season to get better. You know, some people have beaten us for the first time last year, and that's what those kids have kind of used in the weight room. They've used it on the field. They're using it right now on, in practices to kind of motivate themselves to kind of right the ship, get things back in order, get back to eight, nine, ten wins and playing in the postseason. Did you ever think you'd be the, the one of the veteran coaches in the <laughs> ECC? I mean, going into your 11th season, that makes you want, with all of the changes that have come about in the ECC this year, that makes you one of the, the veteran guys. Yeah, it was really interesting. I, the old timers, huh? Yeah, I, I can't believe I talked to, you know, tomorrow about that the other day when Mr. Crudden stepped down and then, you know, uh, Jimmy stepped down earlier to be an administrator and, you know, see, not seeing some of those guys across the sideline has been different. And the first coaches meeting this year, not seeing some of those familiar faces has been very different. I never thought there'd be a day where I was the old guy in the room, but uh, I guess I got to embrace it. So. Oh, you got a new look. You got a brand new season. And we wish you were nothing but best things this year in the ECC in the league. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you having me here today. Good luck, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Beautiful. How much, how much do you get to talk to? How much does Phil sit down? I mean, you got such a he's such a good person, you know. We talk. Perspective. Probably too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, we. Uh, but he's not, I mean, he's, got no. some, he's such a. I mean, might be the best. Might be one of you know, Hall of Hall of Fame. Put if you had the to the point now where if you had to look at like you know the 
the Hall of Fame coaches of the area. He's he's right there. I mean, yeah, he's he done is, everything. He's, um, it was it was it's a little hard for me at first with him becoming the AD because he's also my best friend. He's gonna be at my wedding this year, and you know he's a guy. You're getting you know, married? Yeah, I'm getting married wow. this season this year. Um, and uh, so he's a, a guy I go to for a lot of that stuff. But yeah. uh, our roles have changed now when he sits sure. behind that desk. But he has been. You know, he's been great in terms of like you know how to how to win, how to create a culture of winning. Sure. You know, he's he's been comfortable with that. And the one thing I, I listen to him maybe more than some other guys because he's a Monzo guy. You know, yeah, he's yeah been absolutely. Through, been through what I'm going through now, so he's been a huge resource. I, I would think I would say in some ways the Montville baseball program is one of the maybe most underappreciated programs. Like we talk about the great programs in the ECC, no one brings up Montville baseball. You know, you bring up war people, bring up Waterford, they bring up Fitch, they even bring up you know New London's. Yeah. You know, Montville going back to John Susie back in you know back in the in the nineties. Montville's been a good, and then Phil's done yeah. amazing. So, yeah, yeah he, he tells me that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to say, you're not gonna, not, you're not, you're not gonna, you know, he will tell you. That's yeah, that for absolutely. sure. Excellent. Thanks. All right, we'll see you guys like week three or week four. I think South we see you guys. Yeah, just give me a yeah. Thanks, yeah. Guys. Coach, come on in. Hey, coach, coach, come on in. We'll sit down in the middle. How are you? Good, so good. Can you run the mic up inside the t-shirt? AJ, can you give me my phone real quickly? I can clip it on your car. Yeah. Coach, um, numbers back from last year? Yeah, we're right around the same numbers. Uh, I mean, how many you got returning on offense and defense? Because um, you guys lost a lot on the offensive side. Yeah, we did. We lost a lot of guys. Uh, we have uh, two. We probably have four or five guys back on offense, That's about the same on defense. Okay, so you're a young team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had we had a real good freshman turnout last year, and a lot of those guys came back this year as sophomores. All right. Um, you open the season? Wyndham. At Wyndham. Oh, oh okay. Home against yeah. Wyndham. That's a different look now. Yeah, we, we, we lost that game up there in a, the Hail Mary there at the end last year. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's, or two, that's right.